Hello everyone, this is Wabash Plain Dealer reporter Nick Van Heest bringing you the weekend edition of uh, Tomorrow's Headlines. Tomorrow's Headlines is basically a sneak peek at what will appear in the print edition of Plain Dealer on Saturday, March 29th. You can also access our articles online at www.wabashplaindealer.com. Links to many of these online articles can also be found on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Leading off in tomorrow's paper uh, is a story I put together about a swine virus that is uh, infecting pigs across uh, Indiana and across uh, much of the country um, and is found to be nearly 100% fatal in uh, piglets under a week old. Um, 43 of 92 of Indiana's counties have been reported uh, to be infected with it, which it's called, the virus is called a uh, porcine epidemic diarrhea or often referred to as PED. Um, so I spoke to Wabash farmer Randy Curlis, who said he lost a couple thousand of his pigs uh, back in January uh, when the virus hit his farm. Um, and I also spoke to a couple experts, um, one from Purdue and one from the state, um, just about how farmers can fight this virus and uh, you know what studies are being taken to, to try to com combat it. Next story in tomorrow's front page is by reporter Eric Seaman. Um, it's about uh, school closings in the county. Um, as you may know, W.C. Mills Elementary and La Fountain Elementary will close uh, after the school year is completed. Um, so Eric spoke to a few uh, superintendents across the county just about, you know, what steps take, you know, what steps do you have to take to, to close a school and, you know, the law and entire process of that. Uh, next article in tomorrow's front page is from managing editor Joseph Slation. Uh, Joe was on hand at the Bosco France Blues concert last night uh, at Eagles Theater. Um, and uh, coincidentally, it was uh, the theater's 108th anniversary uh, yesterday. And uh, theater has often been used to show movies um, in recent history, uh, but it used to host uh, quite a few live performances um, so the concert, the blues concert last night was kind of a throwback to that. Um, and then our final front page story is again by Joe Slation. Um, and it's about a California watch company called Modify Watches, um, which has selected Wabash County um, to be featured on a new, uh, new product line of personalized watch faces. Um, the company has quite a following here in town, um, including... Uh, Economic Development Group, uh, Administrative Assistant Abby Hoy, and uh, Wabash County CVB Director Christine Floor. In our uh, North Manchester page in Saturday's paper um, comes a story from Eric Seaman again about uh, Manchester High School uh, Science Olympiad that they attended um, that included high schools from across the state. Um, and the Squires uh, were able to do very well in this tournament and uh, 30 of them competed, and uh, each of them placed in the top 20. So they're very happy about uh, how they turned out. Oh, uh, leading off in the sports page in tomorrow's paper um, is an article from sports reporter Justin Shockey about soccer. Um, there are a few new schools joining the, con the Three Rivers Conference next year um, who offer soccer programs and uh, the conference has officially added soccer as a conference sport. Now here in Wabash County, the only uh, school that offers soccer currently is Manchester High School, uh, but the Manchester High School men's coach says that he hopes uh, the other teams, uh, which are Wabash, Northfield, and Southwood, uh, will be motivated to start teams because otherwise they'll start uh, dropping points in the conference. Well, this concludes tomorrow's headlines. Have a great weekend, everyone.